there was one thing I seen online. It was a YouTuber I'm not going to name out of respect for you. Uh, but he was trying to push this narrative that Bounty Hunter BJ snitched or some shit. He got some old ass footage of you. It's actually insane to see what you looked like all those fucking years ago. But what w- what is this story, this narrative that uh, he's trying to push about you? I need you to give me the name. Oh, okay. Yeah, you talking about the black food, black food from OG the, the, Frog? Oh, you talking about my 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 so called big homie? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You, this was this was happened two years ago. You talking about? This okay, was two years ago. I so. just seen some some videos with like you know hundred thousand views of people trying to say this shit about you, and yeah, I was this, like, this oh, this was like sure two, you got some feelings. Yeah, this was like two years ago, man. I, I really, I mean, I'm gonna touch on it. Not him though, cause I ain't I don't even wanna mention that fool name. Okay, even speak on that fool. You feel me? But anywho, man, it's like this, bro. Jealousy and envy is a mother. Mm. And when it came out of this particular one individual right here, it was all about jealousy and envy. This is supposed to have been a big homie, right? So-called big homie. But I come from a different generation than him. He's the first generation. I'm second generation. But my reputation is devious. My my work I didn't put in is more devious than him. Feel me? So it's, it's the envy, jealous thing. Now... To turn around, to try to turn around and tarnish my name and put a jacket on me, individual steps in the game, get a certain platform, certain level. I'm hot. I'm the only known bounty hunter on, on the internet this time. Mm-hmm. And I'm growing, right? So, cast up on my name. Try to utilize the HK case and say, oh, I'm this. Okay, I got to go in and defend my honor now. First and foremost, everybody and mama know from the projects, Nixon Gardens, our case was wide open. It was a kangaroo case, meaning that we went in court behind plastic fiberglass, bulletproof fiberglass, and they limited our projects from coming in because there were so many body hunters coming to the courthouse, to our case. So they limited it down to our parents, uh, specifically, strategically, our family members, you know what I'm saying? Mo- moms, pops, sisters, and siblings, things like that. Homies had to stay outside in the hallway. Certain homeboys had to stay outside in the hallway because mm-hmm. they was coming up there deep. Our case was followed by a hood the whole entire time, Adam. There was no way, me being a leader, first of all, I'm the, I'm the main head nigga of this case, mind you. Me being a shot corner leader slash my dog, my road dog, Big Hook. We made two individuals on the case. Mm-hmm. I got 32 crimes. My big homie is involved in the case. Ain't got no business being on the case, which is OG Snoop, Bonnie Hunter Snoop. Another nigga, he envy. He envy my big homie. Another one, he envy. Ain't gonna say nothing like that because you know he gets his head bust open. However, he take the niche upon himself to get in his feelings, bro. All this came because I made a mistake, a slight mistake, telling a story to an actual blogger, which was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Alonzo, Alex Alonzo, right. Gangster Chronicles. Right. When I first come on, I'm talking about, and I, 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 the crazy part about it is, me and him ain't never had no problems in the pride. He ain't never stepped to me, A1, because he, first of all, he can't whoop my ass. Can't whoop me, can't fuck with me. I beat the dog shit out of his ass. And that's on my life. Can't fuck with me. Here or none of this shit. So I don't know why this even came about. But the fact of, he got into his feelings, bro. And me being the real bunny hunt I am, I follow the protocol. When he got in his feelings and jumped on the internet, I refuse to go to the internet against my big so-called big homie, Adam, because I know and I follow the protocol. I got on the phone and I called my homeboy, Goo Goo. I said, Goo, get such and such on the phone, man. And the guy got a problem with me, homie. Mm. He on the internet, woo, woo, woo. We get on the phone like men. We talk, bro. I said, what's your problem, my nigga? What's, what, what you going through? Hey, man, you know that wasn't right what you said about me. You talked about me. What are you talking about? Then it dawned on me. Oh, is that what you said? So I take the video down out of respect for my so-called big homie. We talked it out on the phone, bro. Me, him, and a third party. We laugh, start talking about old days shit. Next thing I know, this shit pops up after the fact. Mm. He come hit me with this. But what he did was he backtracked and went and told Google. He called homie Google back and said, yeah. You know what I'm saying, me? And, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm glad you went on to ask me this because I had, like, I ain't went this deep to even put it out there publicly as far as this levels, as far as the homies that was involved, But because I've always defended my honor and this shit. But, man, that motherfucker know he was in violation and he in violation and he a 
fucking goddamn liar, man. That's why he can't go to the projects. He don't go to them Nixon Gardens, period. He can't come to the projects at all, period, because he's a fucking liar. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's phony. So this motherfucker disrespected our dead, OG big homies. He didn't disrespect the real soldiers, real warriors, you feel me, to me. So he depicted to come after me because he figured, oh, somebody got in his ear, and this is the way he could build a platform. Go after, go after your young homie. Mm. Okay, damn. What kind of smut can I put on? He put the smut jacket on me. Oh, he snitched on Hawkins' case when all of us pleaded out on our case. Oh, so it was that case. Okay. Yeah, we all took a plea. Nobody never got on the stand on one another. No fucking body. One person got separated from us. That was the juvenile you seen in the PBS bullshit documentary, Lud Louie. He got separated because his big mouth mama. And he wouldn't have been separated. He would have got cut loose if he would have stayed in the trial with, and stayed in the court with us. His mama separated. He the only one with the trial got seven years because they found the door, multiple evidence to shit in his house when they raided it. And he said he wasn't no gang member. So that's what got him convicted. Us, we pleaded out with the presence of our attorneys and the district attorney. We pleaded out on our deals. When I say pleaded out, oh, Mr. Johnson, did you do such, such? Yeah, 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 I shot that, yeah, yeah. Every last one of us took our pleas that way, bro. This motherfucker went and put a snitch jacket on behind that shit right there. So just totally making shit up? Yeah. Wow. Never got on no stand ever in my life on that motherfucker. Mm. The person that got on the stand, his name clear as day is Ben Carr. So because he from my hood and he from the first generation, and he ended up building a little following before I even came on the internet. So the New Yorker, funny ass motherfuckers in New York, shoes my friends, is his, basically his followings. Because of, they had an issue with me coming on there and squashing, they, all, they hope with the UBN story and telling the truth about UBN and just that whole theory that you motherfuckers ain't got no business even on the internet talking about UBN. Because UBN ain't no goddamn gang. It's an organization, and it's a structure, and it don't got nothing to do with you, some bitches. And it wasn't started in no goddamn Riker Island. So the New Yorker motherfuckers had a problem with me. They went in cahoots with him. That's how he built his channel. Wow. That's his most following. If you look on this shit, that's his most following. That's who keep the little bullshit out there tweaking every now and then. Mm. I don't even trip on it, bro, because it has no factors to it. Me and Splifton got together on three, four, four cases with receipts, and I shut all that shit down. Period. <laughs> Internet makes people do crazy shit, yeah. huh? So then they went on, went so far to where Reggie decided to start getting involved, and he went there, and I had to go on, go, go upside his head. You feel me? Bomb first. You feel me? So I had to come in. They they went so far to where, okay, now they say, uh, okay, well, okay, maybe he didn't rat, but he got rolled up in Folsom. Oh, I did? I did. Oh, well, shit, I didn't know that one. So we went in on that one. I had to put the receipt on that one. I said, why am I all why am I about five different books from gangsters? And my name is in the top of the top list of these books, nigga, if I was all this bad shit. Mm. How'd I go 30 years of my life being a shot caller? How'd I make it this way, this far in my life? If I got on the stand and told them real Bonnie Hunters and Live Boys, you know what it killed me? My fucking peers. I say this all the time. I say it every time, bro. I would expect it my own peers to knock my head off because they were supposed to because I would have did them because that's our fucking rules. That's our motherfucking rules, Adam. Bullshit. Wow. Hey, uh, I believe it. Was, you feel me? That, you you can't go find rant. a receipt. You can't go, go find no paperwork. No shit, man. Right. This was my so-called big homie got in his feelings because I went on the platform and I told a story about the body hunters initiating who I thought was Bonnie Hunter Frog, but they was beating the shit out of Leroy Stoneham. Because mm. my homeboy Google corrected. He said, B, he called me, he said, no, nah, B. He said, you was wrong, homie. He said, that wasn't Frog, that was Stoneham. Because I was there too. I said, I know you was there. That's what I said in the story. I said, oh, damn, you know what, Google? Fuck, you right it was that fool Leroy Stoneham. Mm. I said, Cause I, what made me mention Frog name, Mentioned his name was because him and dude ran together two sometime and they kind of had the same strut, same walk. And I, I threw his name out there. So out of respect, I apologized to my big homie. Straight up. I apologized to him on the phone. First I asked him, do you want to get out? 
Is it a problem? If it's that serious, do I got to come to IE and get down with you? What? Man, I ain't doing no fight with your buff ass. I ain't fighting nobody, nigga. Well, what you, you, you know my trigger finger is impeccable. Boy, you don't even want to go there. What's happening? Look, brother, if I got to pick up a gun, brother, and go back to prison, you can't even go to prison. You know that. Stop playing with me. You on this internet, fuck with this internet, because this internet don't know your fucking ass. But reality, we know you what's happening in Watts and Nixon Guard. You can't go to no prisons, and you damn sure can't get out your car and walk around Rome in the Nixon Gardens, man. Unless it ain't nobody out, and we ain't a fucking around, man. You can't walk into my face right now today and walk in front of me, bro, and it ain't going to be no repercussion where I'm going to want to put my hands on you after you disrespected me. I asked this man as a man, do you want to get down, big homie? You my big homie. I give you a fair one. We ain't got to go no guns or nothing. I'll come to you. Nah. All right, well, leave me alone, man. I apologize to you, bro, and we laugh. Me, him, and my homeboy, Goo Goo. Goo Goo thought it was over with. I thought it was over with. He called Goo back two days later with some old bullshit, acting like an old hoe. Hey, man. Goo say, bro, what is you doing? What are you on? First of all, you know B ain't no motherfucking punk, bro. Frog, you know that, man. You know he ain't no punk. He ain't finna just lay down and go for that bullshit. He said, look, he said his story already. It's, it's already out there. It's in the world. He took the video down, though, bro. What is you tripping on? Fuck that. I got to go tell mine now. I got to go tell my side. And here we are. Wow. Internet. 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 Fucking internet, man. <laughs> internet. internet, bro. Yeah. And the crazy part, I swear on my life. If you put me and him in a room together, he'd rather talk to me and come to a conclusion and understanding than rather fucking battle with me, battle with me right now today, bro. I that's on my life. That's mm. on my fucking life, man.